And I watched it live with Brian. And Brian pointed out to me, as soon as you got hit, you're looking at the ref and you're saying recovered, recovered. Did you have that planned or were you like, oh, just you're fine? Yeah. So I, I had it planned out um, yeah. if if I could. So like uh, I'm not going to ever recover before I can't. So the rule set is um, you have a minute to get back in a box and recover. Once you do that, your opponent can't move. They have to set up for defense. So they can't go walk around. They can't do anything. They have to set up and get ready to get hit. Um, I knew I lost a coin toss, and that could be big in the judges' eyes. So I really wanted to make sure the first round was, like, a complete one side. Like, so you didn't – so you knew clear as day who won the first round. Um so once I took the hit and I realized that I was going to be fine, I was like, all right, we're just going to go right now, recover. Uh, we don't need more time. Have them set up. Uh, that round is my round. I won the first round, you know. Well, I don't want to expose any any hidden strategy here, but me and Brian were theorizing, and we're sitting there going, you know what? He didn't even give the referees a chance to even let him walk. Like, he took control of the situation there and said – I'm not Mm -hmm. stepping out of this ball. Even if my legs are wobbly, you don't get a chance to see it recovered. Let's go. And like, that was all part of it. If if you could sell it, if you could sell it, that could be a way for you, but you have to sell it because refs know when you're BSing, you know? Um, But yeah, the the whole point for me doing that was to make sure that the pace was faster because I... You, when you lose a coin toss, that could be like a judge thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that first round in everyone's eyes was like he obviously won no matter what yeah i got the first round knockout but i'm never thinking first round knockout i'm thinking ahead of time you know 